Wow, I love this music. Anyway, though. Guys, let's do Enshrouded. I don't know if this is going to be the most story-driven game. Because uh, you guys said it was like Valheim. That's actually kind of my haircut. And ironically, maybe I should get mutton chops like this. Yeah, but if you guys know me and what I like in games, the thing I always find annoying in games is if hair looks weird or NTA listing looks weird. I don't really care too much about graphics other than like if hair, if hair looks like a bit odd, if you know what I mean. Uh, we'll do it. Uh, whore blonde, just like me. I'm actually like this blonde, naturally. As a kid, there's so many photos of me where I've got this blonde hair. But I don't know what happened to it. It's when my uh, dark side came out. I become- I, <laughs> the more jaded I become, the darker my hair gets. That's generally the rule of thumb. This. This is what I mean though. Like, this looks fine. This beard looks fine. But when it's very minute, like, detail- I should actually do this beard. I reckon I could pull that off. The frickin' magician. But you know what I mean? Where just single grains? It's like eyelashes. Eyelashes have a hard time NTA listing as well. It's it's something that kind of I wish looked better, but hey. Yeah. It's either a 24-year-old woman or a 12-year-old boy. Yeah. 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 In my mind, this is what I sound like. It sounds like fucking flock of seagulls. Uh, let's just go basic. Uh, okay, let's have a freaking 16 play account. So this is visible to everyone. Uh, guys, feel free to come join session password. Should I have a session password? I guess. Long ago, a wanderer brought an enthralling gift to the people of Embervale. The elixir. It was Elden a Ring cure, DLC. A blessing. A weapon. Once concealed by the ancients, its might had been set free. With it came power, mistrust, and a longing for more. <coughs> Humanity dug the elixir wells, ripping apart the land and each other to quench their thirst. Elixir and blood, a drop for a drop. But from the depths of the wells, an unforeseen curse crept into Embervale. Uh -uh. The shroud, a ruinous fog which sought only to spread and devour. Facing their downfall, ancients and humans united to forge the flameborn. <coughs> now, your time has come. So I'm basically an artificially made human? I guess I'm gauging from that. Oh, here we go. Trailer breakdown time. <laughs> Real G's will get that. Oh my god, that's uncomfortable on your feet, I can tell. Okay, so here we are. Uh... Arc 2. Finally here, guys. It's weird they took out the long arms and, like, big hands thing. Commune with Flame? You've slumbered for too long, Flamebomb. The realm of Embervale has fallen, consumed by the Shroud. Now, the enduring flame calls for you. Find a place in the ruined world and construct a flame altar to create shelter from the dark. Okay. Dang, I like that. I'm a big fan of that. That's like in, um, I think it's Fallout 3 where they did that. Where you get out the vault and then you get the sunlight in your eyes and it like blinds you for, for a little bit. Uh, a vast world awaits you, filled with secrets and peril. Press I to navigate the map and track your discoveries. 
Okay. Alts. Okay, so you can have like a combat and then a building. Okay. Uh, and they want me to go here? Okay. By the way, the way I knew how to do that is because this game is pre-played. All my streams are actually pre-recorded. I just, you know, we'll make a we'll make a playthrough on YouTube uh, for like as a YouTube video, and then just upload it on Twitch as a stream. Pure light engulfs the knowledge of the ancient breed, protects it in a flaming core, wisdom far beyond my own imagination. I could stare into the fire for hours, seeking answers, a whisper, but I hear none. Despite processing a voice, it only speaks to those born from the flame. A shame, as I believe we could have quite enlightened conversation. Balthazar. Dang. Uh, it's kind of annoying that that purple question mark stays there, but... I mean, you don't see it on the map, too. Far. Okay, nice. It is gonna actually move. My OCD was not enjoying that. Okay. The base gear. Noise. Okay, so we're probably gonna get into combat in a second. What up? my uh my opinions of the games currently <laughs> okay so it's gonna be a combat item that's like a grenade i thought something would spawn down here and it want me to use those on them that seems like a tutorial for that oh okay so let's use a terraforming tool or explosives to forge a path through the rubble explosive powder balls can be thrown explosive barrels or detonated at range okay yeah, someone said um, yesterday I was playing uh, Dungeonborn, and they said, "Do you are you gonna try and shroud it?" So I thought, "Yeah, I'll give it a go. I'll try it out. I'll pander a little bit." <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I'm down to try games if people want to see me do them. You are playing a game made by Germans right now. Dang, I am. Maybe we should stop playing it then. Gather round. We are drinking. An ode to the, the queen once young. Free babies on her um, cup filled <laughs> to the brim. Thinking out loud she sung. Rather mead in my cup or my cup filled with rum. Drink too much rather than be done. I feel like I'm doing a ritual right now. This is like the Alcoholics Anonymous ritual. Can only have some, so shared some around. Drink too much, rather than drink one. Rather mead in my head, the and mead in, and me and my head, on the run, than my head on a pike with none. Get the rum and the mead. Get the mead in a cu in the cup. Get the cup to your head. Drink up. I'm sure that was the best way anyone's ever read that. <laughs> uh, dang. What the heck is that? So have you uh, seen any of this uh, game, Gamecast? Since you are German, I'm assuming you've seen the full, uh, like, 300 hours of gameplay into this game. Just because all Germans have been mandatorily told to play this, I'm assuming. Uh, it's like a hive mind. I don't know why I'm not using my torch as I'm running through here. The Pega brain coming out. The flame allows you to resist the shroud, but if you linger, you will perish. Escape the shroud to replenish your maximum time in the shroud. Oh, so I have to leave it and then go back. Okay, so it's, it's like uh, Dungeonborn. Red wall that chases you. Me understand. Uh-oh, I'm shrouded. 
Ha-ha! I knew it! I knew there would be loot behind there. Okay, so it wants me to get to the torches, and then that's how I'm gonna get through here. Okay. Uh, to lock onto your first and control to dodge out of harm's way. Okay. Oh, so it wants me to go there. Okay. That's kind of cool, actually, that it makes you look over there and then look over here. I'm, I don't know if that's worked on everyone, but it definitely worked on me. Um, oh, yeah, we have uh, actual combat weapons now. How do I equip the shield? Because we did get a shield, right? Let's craft this. Because I know it's going to ask me to craft one of those. Uh, okay. Let's go frig up the tutorial monster. Hey, this kind of plays a bit like a Dark Souls Elden Ring uh, type game. This is like an open world version, you know? This this target lock feels a lot like uh, Elden Ring Dark Souls type uh, situation. And it's good because the tutorial makes you feel badass already. That's, that's how you should feel in the tutorial, I think. I think that's like just how it should be, you know? You should feel like a freaking gaming god in the tutorial. If you fall, you will rise again in your last ch- Oh, okay, so that's a save point. Let me guess, chop down this for wood? Okay. Yeah, this does feel a bit Valheim-esque, I will say. Whoa, look at this place, though. This is cool. There we are, guys. Louis Lou about to embark on his grand adventure in Enshrouded. Remember this moment, because this is only going to happen once. Reach level two? What did I do to- oh, I discovered a location. I did the classic, like, Skyrim meme level up, where you just get 10 XP for discovering somewhere and then you level. Uh, so there's a shelter here, and I can rest here, I guess. Hold the chamber to your last breath. These were the words of the Ancient One. Before he entered with a handful of our best warriors, it was the first time I'd seen one of his, one of his kind. And I expect it will be the last. His face is burned in my mind. My life and those of my remaining soldiers are pledged to this sacred duty. Captain Arkwright. Captain Arkham Asylum. Ooh, we might actually be able to craft. I'm a big fan of crafting in my inventory as well and not having to... Well... I mean, th there's a lot of things that do that, but you know where you can just make the base stuff, like shields and swords? It feels like in a lot of um, games you probably can't do that. You have to go to like a workbench to make a sword or something. I kind of find that annoying. I get for like more complex uh, recipes or whatever, it does sort of make sense. But... Uh, there we go. Let's get banned on Twitch quickly. Oh my! Oh guys, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, how silly of me. Um... Oh, so this is like an old... T so this is kind of like a world that's just been destroyed, so it's sort of like a Fallout situation. Uh, just to bring that up from earlier again. I do do that quite often. If I say something earlier in the stream, I've noticed I do bring it up again. You guys will probably notice that. Uh, at some point. Ok, 
pump tool. Place it in your action bar and press the left mouse button to, to cook. Oh! Raw lean meat. Should I trust that if it's just been sat on the side? I mean, I don't know how, uh, how mechanic works in this. Magic damage bonus. Oh, okay. Oh, there's that lovely sock. Are you a Labrador, so you're taught to do this. There we go. The girls have come to sit with me. Oh. Or not. Dang. Also, I'm assuming I should put on my, uh, frickin... My axe. So this is kind of a Minecraft mechanic, then. So you put on armor in your inventory, but you equip weapons in your hotbar. Or you get it. Uh... It feels a bit like Breath of the Wild, this game. A little bit. The way you sprint and stuff, you know? It does feel cool though. It feels like a fun caveman experience. I feel like I need to do keto whilst playing this. What this? Location reached. I don't know why it's giving me like a... I'm gonna get radiation sickness from standing here warning. Oh, I have to go and... It wants me to go and journal? Claim a spot for your base. Okay, a flamer will mark the spot for your base, and your base you will be able to craft and build up shelter, craft the flame altar and place it to establish your base. If you don't place the altar in the plains, you can choose any above shroud area to establish your base. Oh, wait. Me bad. Uh... Oh, so I have to craft it. Uh, there we go. Oh, I already made one, didn't I? Good one, me, I guess. Oh, well, let's be honest. We can freaking uh, make one again at some point, I'm sure. Conditions warmth, shelter, sitting, sleeping, comfortable. Okay. So... This is the pain of someone playing one of these games for the first time. <laughs> this is gonna be me figuring out stuff. Um, stone. So to get stone, do I have to craft? Uh, there's not like a pickaxe I can craft. Um. Oh, please can you shut the back door? Uh... Huh. That's weird that you would know that. It's kind of an odd one. It's kind of an odd request. But I will go to your house and close your bedroom window. Although, uh... I don't know what impact that has on my life. Uh, okay. Build a flame up. So it wants me to get stone, but I, I can you just pick them up off the ground? Oh, you can. Okay. And then you can make an axe. Which I'm assuming isn't going to be as good as the... What is this? The, the hatchet? I don't know. Maybe it is, though. Wait, can the hatchet just get stone? It can. Okay. Not super quickly, but... I mean... We have two of these. Don't we? I think we have two of these. I hope we have two of these. Well, I'm assuming it wants you to use this as kind of like a starting tool, maybe. 
Uh, guess. uh, what game is this? Dude, Twitch does a weird thing where it changes your username's color. So it looks like you changed user. It's, it's weird. Uh, this is enshrouded. I think it's only on PC, though. Uh, crap. Flame altar. We'll do a flame altar first, and then we'll do construction. Um, okay, so for a work page, a work bench, we need a uh, string. So I will get that. Uh, oh, you make it out of plant fiber. Okay. Um, so... Don't know why we get this, but I'm assuming it's these little hedges here. Oh. Purple berries. By the way, here's a good survival tip, guys. If you ever find berries in the wilderness, eat them. Because berries are good for you. So, um, it's like a superfood. So if you find berries, you know you found good food in the wilderness if you ever need to survive. Uh, pickaxe, there we go. I don't know where I got that recipe, but I'll take it. I wasn't paying that close attention, to be perfectly honest with you. Ruh -ruh. This looks cool at night, though. Kind of wish it would have northern lights. That'd be uh, pretty saucy looking. How do you send gifts on here? Uh, it's called sending me money. Send me money now. That's what it's called. Uh... Okay, there we go. We'll make a... Uh... We'll make a workbench. There we go. Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll do an, a little old switch here. Need a building area. Oh! Oh, so this is like a claim your land. I mean, I should have probably have taken that in by reading about it, but I didn't. <laughs> you are not alone. There are other survivors drowsing in nearby ancient vaults. Find them so they will aid you in your journey. Go gently. One beckons nearby, just outside the shroud's grasp. Okay, so we can upgrade the altar and stuff? That's kind of cool. I'm sure we'll get onto that. Later on, though. <laughs> um, okay, so we're going to build like a basic B... Uh, little like wooden wooden hut like we're in the freaking uh, Amazon or something build one of those ones made out of like just sticks sticks and mud Dude, apparently a bunch of those um, building like uh, like primitive houses and stuff a lot of those are just like straight up fake where they just will use uh, trucks I, I mean I never looked into it so that's why I'm kind of like, um, you know, probably the last person to talk about that being true. But apparently, the, like, there's uh, just videos of these people using freaking, uh, like, trucks and stuff. And there's truck tracks and things. Someone tell me how to send this man a gift. Uh, well, there's a donate button. Or there's a subscribe button down below the stream. Uh, or you can do bits, which is basically like giving me a donation, but teasing me the donation so I don't get it. Because I think there's like a, a set limit on bits, you know, uh, which is kind of dumb, but it, it's, uh, it is what it is. Uh, wait, so why am I not able to build this? Do I just not have enough, uh, wood? And let's say you flatten out ground. Okay, I like that. I think. 
This is cool. I'm a big fan of this digging mechanic. I'm a big fan of this. So you can make a little mine shaft. That's cool. That is very cool, guys. Uh, okay, we will switch back again and get some wood. I'm just gonna farm like a shit ton of wood, I think, and we'll uh, go from there. I will say I'm enjoying this game already more than I did Power World. And I mean, you guys can hate me for saying that, but I think this game's intro to me. Uh, this is more target to me type of people, I think. The guys who do Keo, like living in the wilderness, you know, brush their teeth once a month. You know, it's appealing to that type of guy. Uh, okay. Dang, me learning all these systems. Dude, I can tell I'm getting old because I don't know how to play video games anymore. I literally just don't get it. Uh, can I make more than one of these at a time? Maybe not. Maybe that comes out in the later update. Uh... Oh, so it lets me build all kinds of stuff. Well, I mean, it's better that we actually build a t-shirt first, right? Uh... There we go. Now we ain't so nude, except that I can tell our feet are probably freezing off right now. We're gonna get frickin' frickin' frostbite on our feet. Put sound alerts on, please put sound alerts on. I think sound alerts are on. You can spend channel points and it'll play a sound. Uh, okay, so we'll try and build this. Oh, you can just do it from in here. Okay, I like that. I like that convenience. Control up to change material of what we're using. Missing materials. Craft blocks at the workbench. Oh, okay. So I need to put a workbench down and then... Uh, oh, and I can pick up afterwards. Okay, that's nice. That is nice. Uh, oh, wow. So we have a lot uh, in comparison to what we actually need. Well, at least wood-wise. We'll see how 500 does and then maybe that's like a... Sort of a good starting point. Oh, wow, well, no, okay, that's... What, 250? 256? Uh, so it definitely wants us to... Uh, make more stoof. Hmm, I kind of like that, how it clips into it, so you can do a slight bit of the... Uh, oh, that's good! That's actually well thought out. It uses less as well. Oh, I am a big fan of that. See, dude, that's what it just takes. In games, just do that. Little details. They're always so good. Little, like, helpful details that have probably pissed these people off before in other games. Um... Like, just think about no, doing no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, thank you for that one. 
Uh, we'll do a little little heart. We'll do a little primitive technologies heart right now, just to uh, just to get sheltered. Uh, I feel like I should do a window as my door, you know. Do kind of like a Dukes of Hazard diving over the freaking bonnet of the car to get into it. Or like they dive through the window, right? Kind of doing like uh, one of those. Uh, okay. And there is our little roof. Now we just need a door so we can feel extra claustrophobic. Um. Uh... I don't know what that's going to entail. Is that doors even? I think this... What is this? A narrow wall. Oh, okay. Door frame, ceiling, wall. Uh, I guess door would be in here, but... Door frame. Oh, thank you for the... Uh, hundred bits. I appreciate it. Uh, it's probably like 20 pence, but I will uh, I will take that 20 pence and I will turn it into 40 pence because that's my business model. Any money I get gets doubled. That's how good of a business person I am. Uh, oh, okay. Rested... Sheltered, warm. Okay, so now it wants me to do something else. So I assume there isn't doors in this. Maybe you just put walls down. Kind of an odd choice, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe I'm missing the mark on that. It's probably more than likely what's actually happening. Also, good one. That probably damaged my soul. Oh my fucking god, that scared the shit out of me. Holy fuck. Dude, that fucking scared me. Even though I was playing a fucking horror game. What the hell? Trying to connect with my caveman roots. And again, teaches me to be alert, isn't it? Holy shit. That's fucking scary. That's one of those things there, if you're watching it, it's not scary, but if you're playing it, it's entirely scary. So it wants me to go down there? This music is nice. I am a big fan of this music. It's very well made. Very fantasy. And now you're probably saying, of course it is. Yeah, but long games don't do it too good. This is sort of like what the Celtic uh, music pack for Skyrim, like a mod, was like. You can't proceed without a grappling hook. Seek a path through the shroud instead. Oh, here's a four. I could make the grappling hook and then just completely five head this whole experience. But I'm sure the game does not allow for that, unfortunately. <laughs> That's like just the most basic. That's like how I um, open the fucking bin in my house. I want to get one of those ones with a foot pedal, even though those ones fucking suck. Because uh, the, the foot pedal on those bins always gets broken. But I hate opening bins, because they've always... They've always got everyone else who's ever touched them, touching them. And they've also got, like, like bin shit on them. Like, public bins with a flap. I always open with the, uh, the fucking packaging going inside to open the flap. We are hungry. We had to destroy the bridge, and with it, our connection to supplies. But it worked. 
We haven't seen any more scavengers. The cinder vault and those within it are safe and should remain so. If we are to avoid starvation, we may have to take our chances in the horrible shroud. Either choice is certain death. Captain Arkham Asylum. Okay. Nice. Uh oh. Freaking horror game sounds. Thank you for the hydro, by the way. I need to do a stretch as well. You redeemed a stretch. I need to do the classic touch your toes to avoid fucking gangrene legs. Jesus Christ. I think the rule for when you get to my age is just become unhealthy and fat. Just like the unwritten rule. Then again, it could be because I played RuneScape for months on end. <laughs> Avoiding physical activity. That, that also could be a, a kind of factor in that. What the hell? I thought that was going to be a good thing. Oh, so we have five. Oh, so it's giving me a time limit to get through here. Oh, we have just a million hours of time then. So it does it hurt me at all? I don't think it does. Oh, maybe I should actually run to the location we need to go to uh, before I do that. Firefly lamp at workbench. So I'm guessing maybe that will work as like a little uh, torch I can carry through the shroud. To make it so I don't um, die or anything. Or else I have it out. Shroud wood. Uh, and twigs. Okay. Okay, so I'm just going to use the same sort of feeling as uh, being in the shroud is the same as being underwater basically like we'll drown if we're under there for too long but you know if we get out it'll just recharge and we're all good speaking of hydrate though I actually need to get new water because that water in my bottle there tastes like absolute asshole what the fuck? Okay. Oh, this guy wants to go? You want to frickin' play, dude? This is like the boss when you start Elden Ring, the uh, frickin' guy riding the horse. Except way easier to kill, apparently. Okay. Oh, let me just stand in this. This seems like a good idea. Okay, I tried to... to ...frickin' close it. I guess... just, uh... Oh, yeah. So I can swing like a monk once I get grappling hook, but we're not going to go here yet because I'm going to keep following the little uh, exclamation marks. Can I take this bed? Guess not. Does heal any health? <laughs> okay. Bandages are like a slow heal. So it just works uh, the opposite to Dungeon Born. Then again, maybe the potions are a slower heal. I don't know. I haven't tried that yet. I feel like I'm going to use that when we come up against something that's uh, like a boss or something, you know?
think this is kind of a smart idea in combat in these new games. Let the enemy attack first and learn sort of what their animations are and what attacks they have. And then you can play it out accordingly by knowing the towers from a distance. Oh damn, I actually parried them? Fucking god gamer, dude. Elixir. So they were pogging that in the cutscene. I don't know if that uh, means it's going to be GG 10 out of 10 amazing would drink again, but uh, I will go ahead and uh, take it. I assume it's just amazing. Okay, so this is the same type of enemy. Let's parry him again. This enemy does look badass though, I will say. Freaking shat on, dude. All these metal scraps I'm assuming is gonna make like a crossbow or a better sword or something. Well, it's gonna make a sword, but you know, it's gonna make metal tools is the, uh, the main, main little point there. Oh, I assume it wanted me to chuck something in this explosive barrel. I did not do that. Can I make a bow and arrow yet? That's actually something I haven't looked at. Uh, that would be good. This is kind of like the same music they have in, uh, in Red Dead 2. At times. One arrow, Twix. Okay. Twigs? I hardly knew her. Can I make these logs into Twigs? So I feel like it's weird that it wants me to just have uh, actual twigs. Uh, I'm going to make one of those just to see what it's like. I'm not going to invest too heavily in it yet. Twigs, though. I don't know, maybe I can make them at the workbench? I need to, like, process them down or something? Uh... Oh, I do have wooden arrows. Okay. Well, that's... that's something. Uh, not do best, but we have just started this game pretty much, so... I mean, we ain't gonna have the best, let's be honest. Okay. Eureka! By the ancients, I've done it! Equilibrium! The subject sleeps, yet can be awakened. They are dead, yet alive! The subject does not decay, is untouched by the coarse flow of time. A flame soul in a mortal body. Igni serves as proof. We can survive. We can endure. These cinder vessels will be our only chance amidst the shroud. We have no other choice. Balthazar. Dang. There's a lot of passion in that reading on my part. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It's at least worth a freaking enemy. Uh, an Emmy. An enemy. It's worth an enemy, guys. Uh, we will apply a little bandage there. Frickin' ranged main, baby. Oh, I can't shoot through doors. That's actually something I just learned, huh? This game feels like it has a lot of nice polish on it, even for an early access game. 
Like, this is how some full releases feel. How this game feels currently. It was very polished. I'm kind of excited to see where they go with this. Venture forth. It's done! The Cinder Vessel is a delicate contraption, still volatile, yet brimming with potential and hope. The first human to enter will be our true prototype, the kindling of a new spark. Thankfully, the blacksmith volunteered. He must enter the vessel and sleep until roused anew, lest he slip into eternity. May the ashes of one age sustain the seeds of the next. Balthazar. Dang. Oh. Wait, so is he gonna come out of here? Oh, summon the survivor, okay. Uh, with a summoning staff. Okie dokie. Uh, summoning staff, twigs. Uh, yeah, so I guess I'm just trying to figure out how to uh, make twigs at this point. Those twigs are just maybe pieces of wood you get off the ground, kind of like pebbles. When you need to rest, you can fast travel back to your home by opening the map. I navigate the map and I select your home. Okie dokie. Oh, there we go. I like how it doesn't show you what all the maps are like as well. This is up to your imagination. I feel like a lot of games should just start doing this, where they don't show you the entire map. Or like, everywhere you can go until you actually go there. It keeps a bit of mystery, you know, and I do like that. Uh... There we go. Let's see if we can make trig uh, trigs. Yeah, I want to make trigs in this. Uh... Ah, okay, so I'm gonna make scaffolds and a foyer place and windows. Oh, you can make doors. That oh, one double door. Okay, that takes two doors. I'm assuming doors are like a specialty, uh, sort of item, maybe. Kind of interesting that you can build little squares like this as well. I'm assuming I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste uh, any stuff we have. Wait, what? Oh, I can build windows like that? Uh, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what kind of a freaking window that is, but. Uh. I ain't gonna lie and say I know what I'm doing right now. Okay. That's interesting. You can build like little, uh, 
You can make like the doors shorter and stuff. Very interesting. See, that's like a nice little bit of polish that they have going on. Big fan. Probably the, uh, I don't mean to boast, guys, but I'm probably the biggest fan of it. This survival will be wor a worthy addition to our cause. Place them into the world with a summoning staff, which you can craft from simple twigs. Okay. Well, let's find some quote-unquote simple twigs. Uh, huh. Who knew it was actually simple? Just like me. Will you frig off? I do like how these things' uh, eyes glow as well when they're in the dark. Oh, frig you. Okay, that's it. Some primal combat incoming. Okay, our stamina doesn't recharge until our combat, maybe? It was like... I don't know how many twigs we needed for it. It was probably like three, right? There's a little trivia question I ask a lot of the times when we're playing a game like this. What is the difference between rock and stone? Uh... I could make stone arrows. have one of these? Yeah, we do. Um, see, my brain right now is... You're seeing synapses beginning to fire off in real time when you're watching this, guys. Okay, place character... Crafting first gear. You took you long enough to find me. Look at you, weak and puny. They call you Flameborn. First thing you need is equipment. Luckily, lucky you woke me up first. Crafting a scrappy sword, a spike club, or some armor will serve as well. Don't always be an asshole about it. But nothing but polite so far. Ember Vale can still be saved. Where there's ash, there's embers, kid. The shroud suffocates the valleys, so seek the elixir we're well with your new gear and raise the root of our, mis our misery. Ignite the depths and set this evil ablaze. Go on, I'm counting on you, flameborn. Uh, even with new gear, you shouldn't feel too safe out there. Rest up and eat well before you head out. A fire, a roof over your head, and some meat in your belly will prepare you for anything. Except in my case, it's vegan meat. Uh, it's vegan meat substitute. Uh, yeah, I don't care about beautifying my home currently. Uh, I already bring enough beauty to my home. <laughs> Uh, fur armor set. Just need some string for that bad boy? Okay. So we need some, what is this, like a Aztec coin or something? Uh, 
You've awakened your kin. The flame is pleased. Seek out more survivors slumbering in, in the Springfield. Okay, I can do that. It said Springlands! Yeah, I know it did. I just was memeing. Okay. Uh... Okay, so Shroudwood, I'm assuming, is for, like, advanced recipes. For, like, cool tools and stuff, because it's glider, which seems like it's going to be kind of OP once we get that going. Uh... We need to build him a little, uh, a little blacksmith type of place, you know? Huh. Oh, let's do that. Of cows. Of cows, bows. Uh, we will also just. Uh, this is how we made the frickin' the, the stuff, yeah. It was. Uh, Let's make a frickin' mansion, dude. We gotta make this guy a nice little shelter. Kinda of feel like this can be his house. We need to make our own... Our own little shelter here. Uh... Real frickin' manor house. That's a load-bearing wall right there. The building even works quite well. Oh, I'm not gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even want to say quite well. It's very well. Early access isn't a piece of garbage. Who knew that could actually be something that existed? Not me until today. The game industry has, has made me pessimistic, guys. Although indie games are, seem to be, like, popping off recently, I'm not- I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't fronting. I ain't- a, I ain't go front. Jeez. step going up there. I still, unfortunately, do not know how to build doors, though, so that's going to be the struggle uh, of the decade, apparently, for me. I'm going to use roofs as floors, I'm assuming. It all molds together really nicely as well. I'm I'm really liking it. I'm going to lie to you. I'm going to keep this bit open as well. Just, uh... Makes the house a bit bigger. Dang it. So far so good though. That's for true. I need to make an axe. An axe. An axe! Actually, I don't know why I'm making this out of wood when I could be making it out of rock and stone, you know? My deep rock galactic G's will understand that joke.
Yeah, I guess maybe I should start building, uh, building these out of stone. Mm. <gasps> Doors! Three of them. I still don't know how we make regular doors, though. I guarantee I can see it somewhere, and I'm just completely blind, so I'm missing exactly where it is. That was like a dubstep drop of crafting. Uh, yeah, there we go. It all flows so well as as well, I will say that. I don't know what's going on with that though, the, the, the wood merge. But yep. It's uh it works. should work on making the walls tougher first and then go about uh, making the rest of it like the, the stairs and stuff out of stone stuff that's not um, outside of the building you know Kind of having wood on the inside is a little bit more cozy as well than having stone on the inside. to make doors though. I just felt like a plebeian not doing it. Uh Got little windows. Little couple of windows here guys. Double window? Guess not. Still, nice to have that like that. Already playing the game. Wait, you already have it?
Uh, can I attach this? Uh, what is this? Yeah, that kind of works. two floors for the time being and then when we become more of a G we'll uh, probably make a castle That's slightly annoying. I guess I can put one to the side of this too. There we go. Well, I should have two windows on this side too. There we go, that way we can see out. That's feel like a cool kind of castle though, doesn't it? Figure out how you make walls, uh, not walls, doors. this in here. What the heck? Fucking skeletons just roaming around outside now? Didn't know we were playing fucking Minecraft, dude. Oh, what the hell? I mean, you don't put a door on your base. I mean, then again, what do I expect is gonna frickin' happen? Uh, oh, you. Oh, sorry, there was someone whose name looked exactly like yours in chat. That's why I was kinda... ...saying that. Um... Watched the trailer yesterday, today playing the game. Hey, uh... Hey, everyone, how's it going? Yeah, see, I told you I'd play it, and am I playing it? I should have said promised. I should have said I promised I played it, because that would have made my word uh, more, more sound, I guess you could say. Uh, but yeah, you guys want something? I'm here to, you know, I'm down to give stuff a try. I'm down to, uh, have a good time with you guys. How do I, uh, rough my husky gave buff? I had my share today. Pog, husky puppies. Uh, how do I make doors in this? Just out of interest? 
I need water because it, it's cramping me up. I'm getting all dried out. That's why I keep getting... If you ever get, like, randomly tired... I had a, a personal trainer once tell me this. That the reason I was getting tired all the time during the day is because I wasn't drinking enough. And it's very true. I still don't even do that. So if you're getting randomly tired for no reason, do try drinking more. Like, more water. Like, actual water as well. Not fucking added shit unless it's like um like a hydration tablet then it's kind of different but like you know like adding stuff uh like sugar to your water and things like these ones i have have got stevia in so they're literally just sweet tasting they haven't got any uh, artificial stuff in them i i made sure i think they're the only brand i could find that actually did have that um but yeah make sure you're drinking enough water uh i that's kind of a do as I say, not as I do type thing. Because I am definitely guilty of not drinking enough water as I need. And I think that's why I sometimes get like... Uh, like things... I get forgetful. Or just draw a blank on certain words I'm trying to say. You know. And, and it will make you like tired and things. It's, so... I'm gonna go actually get more water, speaking of that. And if you guys know how to make doors in the meantime, I will uh, I will take that advice because I need to know how to do that so I don't die in the night when the monsters come for me, guys. They want to de-scout me and mission will be successful if I don't know how to make doors. You understand? You understand my grievance here? Huh? You understand why I could be a little, little bit ticked off by the whole situation? Uh, you guys love it when I yell in your ears? I'm sure it feels great, right? Um, well, didn't mean to do that. I think my mic's actually too good that it won't peak even if I yell at it. But yeah, I will, uh, be back. To make a door go to workbench and doors. Dang, how about this? You go to workbench and then doors. No, thank you for, uh, thank you for telling me that. Uh, doors. Because I saw this, but I don't know how to, because it says just like multi doors. Oh. Oh, okay. Because I, I did go to that bit, and I was like, oh, I can only make double doors, so I have to make a single door, and that's how I'll make a double door. Thank you, thank you for that, thank you. Uh, I appreciate that. There it is, guys, the manor house. Uh, as much as it doesn't have any flooring there, so maybe kind of, kind of got to do a little bit of a, little bit of a fix here. Uh... Um, unfortunately, I'm currently unaware of how to fix said issue. Hmm. Uh... Wait, this might be it. This might be a, a cheesy, cheap kind of fix, but... Oh, wait, what the hell? Oh. Oh, baby, a triple. Dang. Would you look at that, guys? Would you look at that? It's kind of fixed. It's fixed to a level that I think satisfactory, you know? Or not. Or just not. Okay.
Hey, we've already got a basement. So we're actually doing relatively good. That's actually my plan. Oh. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's how I feel about it too. Oh my god, really? All of these? Unfortunately, guys, the circle's closing in around us, so we must start taking damage soon, as you can see. Uh, but hopefully, we'll have the building done by then. Uh, let's see. I'm built different. Goddamn right I am. says gonna play a game plays exactly the next stream and it, on exactly the next day which streamer will do that for you hmm go on tell me I'll wait uh, so wait what am I doing now enter the elixir well uh, I might just summon... I'm gonna special summon this guy. A fusion summon him. Uh... He can be my little friend. In me house over here, bruv. There we go. And we'll make a... We'll make a fireplace. Which I thought was going to be way bigger than it turns out that is. Um, and then, for emergency sake, don't worry guys, I've got you covered. What are we making this out of? No, we could... Uh, we need some stone. We need some rock and stone, Deep Rock Galactic fans. Not found. Exactly. By the way, if you want to come play this with me, uh, feel free. You guys can, uh, if you have this game, feel free to, to uh, pop in and uh, help me build stuff. You know? I feel like this bit being built up like that. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm doing single roof block. No wonder. Freaking. Ain't doing so good here. I ain't doing so hot. Uh, I tabbed out by accident. By accident, guys. Definitely didn't mean to do that. Uh, how do I change the block I'm using? I want to use the little squares. Oh, okay, one, like that. See, my brain is developing. The synapses are slowly starting to fire up. We ain't got much, uh, much kindling, unfortunately. 
Uh, how do I make this freaking thing go down? Question as old as time. Look at that, guys. Immersion. 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 This is turning out terrible. Uh, ah, there we go. Delicious wolf meat. That's the only thing I eat in my diet. I eat the, the vegan version of wolf, but I do eat wolf meat. Get it from Tesco's. Shout out to uh, my sponsor, Tesco's. When I inevitably become uh, like a Texas streamer with 10k viewers, it's going to be Walmart. That's going to be my new sponsor. But uh, don't tell Tesco's that. Looks like a freaking turkey wing. How do I know if I'm hungry in this game? Uh, I also want to learn how I can undo a uh, thing. I don't know if it's just press Y on anything and it will kind of do it. Maybe it, maybe it is. I don't know. I don't know, main. Oh, no, okay, it is. I'd get all this garbage placement I did. I have wanting to speed run the hell out of this game. Like this side looks this side looks pretty fine. This side just looks uh fucky wucky. I think you guys can kind of tell what I'm going for here, looks-wise. Uh, I think unfortunately we might have to do it the annoying way. That looks garbage -er. Well, actually, we could just do this. It doesn't look amazing, but... Well, don't need to do that. It looks, it looks all right. OK, 
Okay. Uh, suppose I can make a charcoal kiln. Don't waste your breath. Voiced characters? Pog. Uh, I think we'll make this outside, though. It's got a little bit more of a Skyrim vibe if I do that, you know? Where is the front of this thing? Is it this? Because it's got a little door. Place items from your inventory here to make them available for the factory. Here you can track the production process and your factory will produce select recipe until no ingredients are left in the factory's inventory is full. Okay. Charcoal. Boom. There. That's ingredient. <laughs> Wood and dirt. Do we have any dirt still? We probably don't have a lot if we do. Okay, there we go. Wood logs, more like wood pogs. It's just like an average day for me, IRL, as well. I do this type of thing. Just freaking. As I swing into trees. My felling axe. I'm the guy who's destroying the rainforests. I'm doing it quicker than anyone else. Uh... There we go. I don't know why I'm making charcoal, but I'm making charcoal, so... Is hoping that charcoal's actually good. Because otherwise. Uh, we messed up! Dang, I need my glider, guys. Oh no! Oh, dog! I will say survival game wise, this is the, the most uh, enthralled I've been in a survival game probably ever. Other than when I played um, like the original arc, I was kind of into that. I never used to really play. I don't like playing these games with players that I am not like friends with, you know? And I think that's one of the things that put me off Rust was literally the objective in that game is to play a kill. And, uh, I found it annoying because I could never build anything. 
Uh, but then when you're in a single player game, you sort of, uh, well, like, not even a single player one, like, a, like one where there's no combat against players, you kind of realize there's not much for you to do, you know? As well. Uh, in these types of games, I like to build, and that's the first time I've died. Uh, dang, lucky my clone can take my place, right? That'd suck if I couldn't do that. Um, but yeah, I like building stuff in games like this, and you just never get a chance, because there's always a player that comes in and they're like, Oh look, there's this tiny little hug, guys! They're all on a fucking Discord call to, with each other, because of course they are, because they're fucking deviants. And, uh, you know. Uh -huh, guys, there's this little starter house, let's go destroy it! And then they wonder why the game's dead in like two weeks' time. Because no one can fucking play the game! That's why. Congrats, a game you enjoyed became dead because you were a fucking dickhead in it, constantly. It's like it's, if as soon as uh, you played like, I don't know, you played World of Warcraft, you played RuneScape, you played one of these games, these big like RPG games, and then as soon as you spawn in, you you do like a couple of achievements, and then your character just gets deleted, you know? It's like, well, don't know if I want to play that game anymore. That was kind of a trash experience, uh, you know? Don't know if I'm, uh, I'm so into this hot RPG anymore, guys. Every time I log out my, uh, building I spent six hours making is destroyed. Don't know if it's the wisest time investment. There's actually a clip out there somewhere of me getting fucking griefed by a guy in Ark. And, it, like, that's when I learned that playing these types of games with people is fucking dumb. If you're not, like, working towards a common goal, that is. If you're playing with friends, it's different, but if you're playing at, like, a public server and you expect to have any sort of fun, you're deluded. 110%. Especially if you're playing it solo. If you're playing it solo, you may as well just uninstall the fucking game. It's not worth wasting your time playing the, a game like this solo in a public game without without any friends playing it with you. You're literally just asking to have a bad time. That's literally what is just happening. You know? I would like to be proven wrong on that, but I doubt anyone would be able to prove me wrong on that. Is my stuff even? And another thing is as well, especially in these games, are usually like a struggle to get all this new systems down and like, oh, this works like this in this game, and you know, things like that. And then there's people constantly killing you, so you can't even fucking load into the game to try and learn the systems. A game like uh, like a survival game just becomes bloatware. If that's the way you want to play it, it's literally just freaking bloatware on your PC. It's taking up a bunch of storage. Where the hell my items are? are they just gone now? Oh, I don't fucking care enough to keep doing this. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't even think they're there anymore. Plus, maybe it's this. Oh. No ammo. Good one, me. Freaking god gamer, dude. Killing things above my pay grade. Oh, we got the runes, aka the micro transaction currency of this game. Another elixir well is built on the backs of workers, slaving away tirelessly to gouge a tunnel into the earth. The plans for this construction are otherworldly. The charm spits fumes with every jab. Thin veils of mist cause headaches and irritate the eyes. All for the elixir. I hope this foul air will not spread to Lone Thistle. Balthazar. This freaking Balthazar guy, dude, he's he's very worldly. I will say that. They, they is getting around town. Mycelium overgrown block. Huh. Whatever do heck that means. Yeah, maybe don't stand still. What's the chase in me, please? Okay, so I'm assuming I'm under-leveled for this area. Yep, it was die there or die here. Whatever, fucking... Oh, and I'm dead again. That's fucking awesome. I think I'm done. I think I'm done with that. For tonight. For no reason, guys. It's not a skill-based issue, don't worry about it. I'm not- I'm not getting mad for, uh, for a reason that is kind of my fault, let's be honest. Because I'm kind of wanting to lazily go over there. 